Hey everybody, welcome back. So as you can see, I took all the boxes out. Alright. The way these work. You break this tab here with a screwdriver, not your finger. And the wire goes in. Now on the inside, it bends inward, so when you push the wire in and don't want to pull back out, it'll catch it. How I'm going to wire these, you got the brass and you got the chrome. <clears throat> the brass is dark, that's the black wire. And the white is chrome, that's the white wire. And the green is the ground wire. The way I remember it is black is brass or it's your ass. Alright. So there's a tab here and they're connected. So the input will go here, the output will come off of here, and go around onto the input of here. Now this will come off of here and go to the next one. We'll have these boxes with a lot more wire than what I think I have. I only have several feet. So I'm going to cut the backs off the boxes. This whole thing is going to be on the wall. Anyway, the back will be exposed to nothing. Nothing. I'm going to put a, a shelf over the top and a shelf over the bottom. You'll see that in a minute. So let me get back into the uh, workshop and cut these open. It'll take a lot less wire. It'll be a lot easier for me, I tell you what. Next. Nine more to go. Next. Hey, I wanted to share with you, make sure these screws are not below that tab. You can you can pull this up so they're not sticking below this tab right here. Because that's where I'm cutting it at. Zoom out. So, what the bugs bugs all right so make sure these screws are not in the way and this side all right thanks so now here's a switch you see it's brass and brass that's a black wire you always run the black wire to your on off switch and the ground All right. so that's going to go here and I got those two plugs in temporarily I've got this uh, cord 14 gauge. This is going to power the whole thing. Both these switches is going to splice off this black. Watch out. The black to both switches. Do that later. But for now, I'm going to put this in temporarily. And I got some 
easy to bend wire, some old magnet wire from the transformer. And I'm going to do my jumpers and see how long of a piece of wire I need. And I'll be right back. Next. All right, so here's the board reversed. Here's the switch. To keep things simple, all the inputs go on the top and all the outputs go on the bottom. So that power cord I just showed you goes in here and in here let's concentrate on the top one it's going to go in here come out here go over to the top brass black is brass or it's your ass and then come out the bottom brass and go over to the next guy on top and come out the bottom and go over to the next guy on top now the white goes directly to here from the power cord that power cord then comes out the bottom and goes to the top comes out the bottom and goes to the top I'm really doing this to remind myself what the heck I'm doing here <laughs> so sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I just get lost it's easier just to do it instead of doing it and making a video at the same time. So please bear with me, but I do have fun doing this. Alright, let me see how long the wire is going to be. I'm going to, from here to there, no, 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 Bot. see, like I said, the bottom comes out and goes over here. So this piece is way too long. I got 12-2 wire with ground. And I'm probably going to strip all the Romex uh, yellow insulation off on the outside. I got this stuff. Only got 15 feet. Alright. Alright, later. Next. Alright, so here, again, I'm trying to figure out how much wire I'm going to need. Because I'm going to strip this. I'm not wiring this up with this jacket on. I'm taking that off. So, I got this little piece of wire. And that's perfect. To so hook it in here, go around and go over here. But I can't put the screws in. So those have to come out <clears throat> with enough wire. And, um... To put the screws in and then put them back in. So that I that idea doesn't work. Let me try this again. Next. So I figure whether upside down or upside right, the distance of these boxes is still the same. So let me get two more outlets. Show you what I'm going to do here. Um, it's going to be just like this, but backwards. Just to make it easier on me. Because Romax never wants to behave. Now, is that going to be enough room? You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. That's my length. Hope I didn't get in the way too much. Next. Alright. That's all the wires I'm going to need. There they are. We'll do the rest tomorrow. So, I know I said tomorrow, but next.